Goeie avond, we gaan fishen in Nederland. Well, how exciting is this? I'm about one hour and 20 minutes from Amsterdam. I caught the train this morning, that's a big deal in itself. And I'm going to meet up with a guy who knows exactly where the fish are. This place just rocks. I even saw a windmill. Catch that, a windmill in Holland. I like the look of this rain. They reckon these fish bite when it's wet. Ooh, and this has got to be a good sign. Everywhere I go, there's fish. Now the boy said, follow the white fish. They're pointing that way, but I think I'm gonna go that way. Follow the tail. One fish, two fish, three fish, four fish. I think this is the way we need to go to find more fish. And here we are, the promised land. Look at this, Valt van Leeuwen, fishing and outdoors. Loosely translated, I think it means Van Tackle World. Well, not really, but come inside and have a look. I hear it's pretty special. Wow. This is like Aladdin's cave, and I've got to admit, I'm a bit of a tackle rat. Anywhere I travel in the world, I always sniff out the tackle shop and check it out, because you always find something you've never seen before. Look at that, there's all these bits of a carp. They must fish for carp here. They're insane, the Dutch. Well, I already knew that, because I'm just a little bit Dutch, and I'm a little bit crazy too. Seriously, I'm like a kid in a lolly shop. Oh my net. How's the size of this? Hopefully, this is for the fish we're catching today because that is a serious net. Look at that. Gotcha. Well, there's an old saying, he who has the most toys wins. And when they come up with that statement, I think they were talking about carp fishermen. Look at this, little electric boats. How cool is this? up, down, left and right. You can actually drive your boat up to 600 metres from where you're stationed and you drop your boilies. Now you may wonder what boilies are. Well, these are your boilies. If you're gonna have a taste of these, which I don't recommend, squid and octopus, strawberry, they come in all sorts of flavours. I highly recommend go the strawberry because the squid and octopus, not so good oily in the morning. But these things, you actually put your boilies in your burley, they'll drive out and dump it. If you wanna catch the big carp, the real big monsters, You've got to go fishing about three days early. Not with a rod though, with your boat. You dump the burley, you get the fish excited and the next day and the next, Mrs. hasn't seen you for four days, but at the end of the day, you catch a carp. How lucky is that? Now, they say strawberry. Let me just, I tell you what, pretty good too. Boilies? Mmm, I think I'll leave them for the carp. Not so tasty. Talk about toys though, this joint's unbelievable. It's a good looking lure. Sorry it took me so long to get here. I've been walking around this shop. It is mind blowing. Now this is Carl Kiefer. Yeah, that's true. How's that for a <laughs> It's the Dutch in me. Now, what species are we targeting today? Today we're going to target uh, for pike. Now, not like I'd catch pike in Australia. These are northern pike? Yeah, that's northern pike, yeah. Be yeah. Beautiful looking fish? Beautiful looking fish. Uh, I think today we're gonna catch pike up to, I think, 90 centimeters and maybe hope for some more. So we have to see. I love the confidence. Now, how long have you worked at this beautiful fishing store? Uh, for me, it's around 18 years, I think. 18? 18 years, yeah. He's so a, I started he's a really young. Fishing addict just like me. I love it. True, true. This place, it blows me away. Now, it's a long trip from Australia. I forgot a couple of little bits and pieces. Do you mind if I grab a few things? Oh, that's no problem. You know what? It's on the house. Love the Dutch. They're good people. Oh, this is amazing. We get one of these, and one of them, and then take one of them. One of those. I think I finally got it all. Hello. Hello. Carl says this is all on the house. Goedag. Dag hoor. Do you think I've got enough stuff? Oh, I think you have. Yeah. It's no problem. And seriously, what's with the shoes? Oh, I'll explain later. <laughs> 